pull your dark slide to go ahead and if you can cover that up mm -hmm. if you can if you can it's no big deal and also in this direct sunlight sometimes I'll shade that lens a little bit because these old lenses get lens flare so here we go exposure in three two one one two I went a little long too, yeah. right? So let's see what we get. You know, we're starting out for the day and we have a few hours to shoot and this is this will be give our baseline. Fifteen milliliters and one good swoop across all over the plate. Leave as much on there as you can. And I only used about ten milliliters. Two, three, four. Wow. Five, six, let's go to the, to the wash. And really important that you remember that this is still developing. So when it's greasy, you're still looking, you're still looking, you're still looking. And you want all that greasiness to go away, just like that. God, look at that, Bart, huh? Unbelievable green. Huh? You called it, man, two seconds. That was a long two seconds. I could have gone a short two seconds and been okay, too. You have the latitude there. This would be an image you could print on developing out paper easily. It's not fixed yet, but that's our image. It looks beautiful. You can, it's a negative basically right now. You can see the tonal range is great. The perfect exposure. <coughs> this is the uh, unflattering part in the cyanide because it's a clear glass negative or clear glass positive it's not going to turn into a positive because it's got white behind it, but we're still going to do this. And it's going to go more of a regular negative type image. See that? Wow. Looks like a negative. Looks yeah, like a film negative, like a negative, right? Negative. 